Hi, Conchetta Dudley here, student in the Digital Innovations Media course. I am here to talk about my app that I designed called me to face um, First, let's take a look at the logo. This logo is unique. You will not find it on the internet. On the internet, on the internet, this logo specific to this app. So, me to face is the name of the app that I'm proposing to um, design. And this app. I created, if you can see here, using paint, pad, light. I used another app to actually make the design. And then I used IO Proto to um, input my information on all my designs to try to make this app seem a little bit more realistic. It is designed for the Android market as of now because I have an Android phone. Um, and uh, let's talk about this logo. So the logo is an eyeball. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a 3D eyeball. And inside of the eye, there's a face. Uh, when I created the face, the idea was so that the users could um, think about connecting. So we want our users to connect and collaborate. And I used um, IO Proto again to help me get a, a visual and to understand how the screens could be organized. This is my first time using IO Proto and I thought I did a really good job with using this app since it was my first time using it. So thanks to the professor, he actually gave this recommendation to use this app, Proto IO. I thought it was excellent. Um, okay, so the second screen has a key keypad to allow users to make telephone calls as if they would with a regular mobile device. Um, they can click this section here, which would bring them to the keypad. I've designed this, I added gray boxes, I added numbers here. Um, I'm noticing some of them are uneven, but you can see that um, I did design it. And then here, I added in my meet to face um, option to give the users the option. If they didn't wanna, they have to first decide how do they want to connect? Do they want to connect to other users via keypad? Do they want to connect using the meet to face or do they want to connect using the emojis um, option options that I'm that I've that I'm going to give and go over a little bit later. So, the first part is connecting with the keypad which allows users to make regular telephone calls. And this is an app, so they would it would they would have to download it from um the Android Play Store and after downloading it I think I would offer it for free to get users to to attract users to the app um, they can make calls outside of the country they can make calls within the country um, and we're going to talk a little bit about the me to face option when we get there this allows users to connect using um, FaceTime features and they can also um, use characters while doing the FaceTime feature and you'll see that a little bit later on so next screen in this screen, the users are able to select contacts from the contact list. So some users may like to select their favorite contacts, but here this, um, part, this screen works similar to a regular cell phone contact list where users are able to access their, most, their contacts. They can add contacts. They also have um, the option to add their meet to face time favorite contacts. Next screen. So we're going to use Nick Fletcher as an example of a user who has downloaded this app. You can say he's in about 6th grade, 5th grade, and his parents decided to give him a cell phone. Um, wow, he has a lot of followers. Um, but this meet to face option here has been added. He has a regular contacts, and then he likes Twitter, so um, they're using Twitter in the classroom, so we decided to give him a Twitter option. But what's most important that I want my my um, my audience to look at is the fact that we've added this meet to face option. So he decided to connect um, using meet to face. So on this screen, we see Nick, and he's connecting to with the meet to face option. And I put a little thought bubble here so that we know who Nick's calling. Um, and he decided to call Santa. Everybody see the little telephone here? Once the user would get on, uh, reach this screen, it allows them to connect, and then it would have a thought bubble come up and tell them who they are connecting with. So on this screen, Nick decides to make this phone call. He's calling Santa. Hello, this is Santa. To Leo. Oh, hi, Leo. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How are you doing? 
Good. I wanted to tell you, I wanted a toy helicopter. You would like a toy helicopter? Yeah, a toy helicopter. Let me ask you something, Leo. Have you been a good boy this year? Yeah. Oh, of course you have. He said that? Yes. Is there something you'd like to tell me? I love you, Santa. Oh, I love you too, Leo. Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, you want to talk to my brother, Ethan? Okay. Okay, so here you get to see... Although Santa called him Leon, that's his nickname. This kid's real name is Nick. Um, and Nick connects to Santa for the sake and purpose of this um, explanation. Nick connects to Santa. Um, it's really his dad. And he um, goes over with his father what he would like. So I think this is this part of the app, the Meet a FaceTime, allows users to connect um, via FaceTime. And his dad dresses up because he just selected a character um, suit through the app that the app would provide these different character suits and he's able to connect although the phone should be facing maybe his face but he's probably looking into maybe a camera there so just um, use your imagination uh, for my audience here in the digital innovations class use your imagination and just imagine that Nick is connecting to Santa via FaceTime Santa should be connecting um, looking at him but just kind of use your imagination for this Okay, next part of the app. This part of the app is more of the social that provides um, the users with more of a social media feel. Um, here is your meet a face option. Uh, you can connect to people. This gives you access to the internet, messaging, and you can search. You have your favorites. You could edit his profile, updates, what's on his mind. Um, I thought for my social media component to this, I thought it was important to have to have the user access to news through what I call the news vine. So here they would have access um, to the news. And let's see if I can make this a little bigger here. See this news here was about the voting procedures and process. And then um, they gave them kind of like a game. I gave the users a gaming option. So here if he decided to play a game. He could play his Mario game. So, and then there's the events option, which December 15th, he's going to be going shopping with Dad. December 20th, they're going to be going to the Christmas tree lighting. I put a logo there. The user's going to be able to select logos. So here, again, my social media um, component, they're able to, the user's able to talk about what's on their mind. The games, they have a gaming option, the news vine, they could post, they could repost news, um, relevant news articles. I think that would be really helpful for users. And there's also an, an events option that they can click. Next screen. So what makes my app unique is this emoji social media aspect, social media component as well, where they could um, connect. If, if the other user has emojis and um, has downloaded the app, then they could connect with using um, emojis. So the emojis have alphabets, and they could use these different emojis to represent different letters and write sentences. I also gave them the voice activation feature here if they wanted to call anything in, and there they could also go back to the regular keyboard. I added the back and forth arrows in case they wanted to go back. This portion here allows the user to turn on the location. If they if there were other users in the area who also had the app, they would be able to have the emoji talk, I called it, or the emoji social. So the emoji social allows the users to connect um, via emojis. This is something that I would like to develop a little bit more with the app. But this is still, again, I know that within this project for the di Digital Innovations um, Project, and uh, I understand that it's still in a developmental phase. So, therefore, I just wanted to um, expose my audience to this unique design. Um has a 3D feature here that could, could turn on so that you could connect and the face of the person could connect here. They could connect with having an emoji as their their face. Here's an example. 
conversation using emojis. There's Nick again. So the idea here was to um, have the emojis have the emojis um, become more interactive with the user. That was the goal was to have the emojis become more interactive with the users. Um, so just to go back to review a little bit to make sure that I talked about everything. The name of the prototype is called Meet a Face, and what makes it unique. And it is, I think it is worth developing. And what makes it really unique is that we are, we have an app that's designed to have a regular telephone keypad, a uh, meet to face, and an emoji aspect of the app all conjoined in one um, app. And I, and I believe that you will not find this out there on the internet already. Um, how, what kind of resources are needed to bring this prototype to life? I think that. I would like to talk to developers about helping me to develop more of this aspect of it and what I would be able to uh, more so offer my users in addition to like the FaceTime option, maybe having having a portion of the app where users are able to list like their favorite movies, their favorite radio stations, and... Um, have that all become a portion of ways to connect and this idea of connectivity and having your users become more close linked. Um, so I do want to develop that more more op in the future. Um, I love, love, love the emoji idea. And I read an article before on um, what people are now conversing through using emojis. So I thought that would be interesting. And I think that's going to be something that would be would make my app unique to have this all in one. And how I was showing here, the emojis were kind of like, you you, you were able to get a real life, realistic um, feel, an animated feel at the same time of these emojis coming to life. Um, again, it's a, it, it's a kid, we're, we're in a kid's mind, so, you know, the way kids talk to each other and they might have, he might have put an emoji there you know, to symbolize something, but just keep the mindset, you know, this app is really geared towards, um, so to, for young, for kids, maybe fifth grade and up, um, now a lot of young kids have cell phones, high schoolers would probably love this app as well, and maybe some, maybe even some adults, um, who were interested in having conversations with emojis, and especially my, this area with having games, the news vine, and the events all linked into one. Um, I think an appropriate marketplace for this would be in the Android store, and then eventually I could develop this for for um, iPhone users. However, for using um, IO Proto IO, it asks, would it be for the Android or for iPhone? I chose Android because I do have a Galaxy Note four, not seven four, and um, I would be able to test out my app on my cell phone okay right now I am using let me just go back to the other screen so you guys can see when I was I'm using the trial okay and the trial expires in nine days but I think that this this app um, or this um, proto IO was a, is a great place to start for beginners it's it reminds me of like a drag and drop you can import things and as you can see, I've imported assets here, okay, and I've added them in um, to my app, to my different screens. I ended up with a total of nine screens, um, and I wanted to give this more of a realistic feel as if it was really an app um, that has been designed for the Android market that I would want my customers to, to try out. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this, and...